Ascension Day marks a pivotal event in the Christian faith. When Jesus Christ, after His resurrection, ascended into heaven in the presence of His disciples. This event is recorded in the Bible in the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 9 to 11, where it says, After He said this, He was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid Him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as He was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same Jesus who has been taken from you into the heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. The ascension of Jesus holds immense significance for followers of Christ for several reasons. First, his ascension confirms his divine nature and his authority as the Son of God. It underscores his victory over sin and death, affirming his rightful place at the right hand of God the Father. Secondly, the ascension fulfilled the prophecy of Psalm 110 verse 1 when David prophesied, The Lord says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. The ascent of Jesus to heaven fulfilled this prophecy, demonstrating His victory over sin and death. Thirdly, Jesus promised that He will send the Holy Spirit to empower His disciples for their mission. We read that in Acts 1 verse 8. The ascension then marks the prelude to Pentecost where the Holy Spirit descended upon the believers of the early church, empowering them to proclaim the gospel boldly and to be witnesses of Jesus and to establish the early Christian church. Fourthly, the angel's message to the disciples at the ascension assured believers of Christ's ultimate return. As Christians, we look forward to the second coming of Christ, where He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and establish His eternal kingdom. In summary then, Ascension Day marks the culmination of the earthly ministry of Jesus and the beginning of His heavenly reign. It is an affirmation of the authority of Jesus over all of creation. We read in Philippians 2 verse 9 to 11, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. In the time between the ascension of Jesus and the fulfillment of the promises of the angels that Jesus, who has been taken into heaven, will come back in the same way. In the time in between, we are and we should be living with expectation and readiness for His return. Ascension Day reminds us of the coming Kingdom of God, the Kingdom that is in us already, but that will find full realization when Jesus Christ returns. May we live our lives in the light of that expectation. Let us pray. Father, as today we celebrate Ascension Day, we also look forward to the coming back of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Help us to live with expectation and readiness for that day of His return. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.